projector. Remember the slides? And there was always one in the upside down and one yeah. in the wrong. <laughs> You're going to see one here sideways. I got one a yeah. video that's sideways. Oh, that's authentic. We'll feel, yeah, I remember I'm that. I'm out how to get it straight. The projector. This is a video, not a picture. So, we'll find out. I know you all armchair traveled. Come in, Karen. No? Okay, but need it in here. Um, so, um, there's more. If you like this, there's more that where this came from because actually Joe's been all over the shop. He's been all over the world and he's photographed it. And so um, I know he's been to Egypt and um, Asia and all sorts of things. And he's got an exciting trip coming up. Right. He's got a bucket list and he's getting through it. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. yes, he's going to Vietnam. Flashback, sorry about that. <laughs> all right, I'll shut up now. Okay, so this is, I think this is such an exciting thing because um, I was running out of good documentaries anyway, so this is perfect. So this is wonderful. And we can see, it's actually good you've seen how Hollywood <laughs> does Iceland. And um, we can see the real thing now with our boots on the ground. We'll call it Boots on the Ground Show. Over to you, Boots on the Ground painting. Okay, I'm going to scroll quickly through some of them, and some of them I'll go slow and talk a little bit about. That's the, that's the tour group that uh, we were with. You'll notice half of them are uh, uh, Chinese. Uh, they were a group of uh, know each other. That's my grandson. He was my, uh, and my granddaughter, uh, step, uh, his wife, I'm sorry. Uh, this is just a uh, building. Now, this is a church. There's lots of interesting looking churches you'll see here. Uh, and this is just another view of the same church that's inside. Wow. What's the nomination? They're uh, mostly Protestant. They're almost all Protestant in here. That I have pictures of, of course, they're all really very different than any churches I've seen before. This is just some countryside here. And uh, there we're in the rich Reykjavik's up, uh, uh, up in a building and you can see the city. This is a piece of lava that they had there. Uh, and you'll see lots of lava in these pictures. That's another picture of a piece of lava. And this is a pavilion up on the top of a, a building and, and you can actually look out and see the whole city. So this is like a panoramic view. I'm walking around this uh, structure up top and you'll see there's pictures down here and then this is the actual uh, and then up in the yeah. uh, is the actual uh, town but uh, yeah it's an interesting looking town but this is most of the population probably about 80 percent of the population and this is typical of the uh, you'll see lava that's all over the place and uh, this is the port at Reykjavik where they get a lot of their uh, supplies in from. Oh. And that's a guy, that's a blockhead guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. That's a blockhead, right? Yep, that's a blockhead guy. And again, this is another shot of the port there. Uh, this, that's our tour guide, the, the blonde lady up in the middle. And she's uh, telling us about the, this is a, uh, uh, a terminal there for the port. There's yeah. another church. Now that's more traditional of the kind yeah. of churches that we have duck. here. But you'll see some very different ones. This is uh, a, uh, a statue of a guy. You'll see lots of statues of him around. He uh, was a preacher that uh, went around and uh, tried to um, motivate all of the, uh, the local residents there to uh, form a government and, and uh, become independent. Danish. Yeah, I'm not sure what this was. This was showing how they split this thing. I uh, used something to, to crack it, but that's a big chunk of lava. Wow. And that's Zach and uh, Andy. Yeah, them again. And again, we're back up on the, the, uh, wow. the, the overlook looking at the town. Yeah, so, way to go. Yeah, now this is a cruise ship that is oh, coming in, and what they have is this cruise ships do a uh, tour around the island. So if you don't want to take a bus tour like I did, you 
you can go on the boat and that way you unpack your clothes and this boat goes all the way around and stops at pretty much the same place as we do because uh, basically the whole country, all of the population lives around the edge uh, on the, where the ocean is in the middle of that, from that, you saw from that structure, there's very few people live up in the middle because it's all glaciers and lava flows, the volcanoes. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, a, a, a bay coming into the town. This is, uh, they have uh, all of the cattle on the island are milk cows. They don't have uh, any cattle, beef cattle. They import all of their beef. The, uh, the animals they have here, uh, primarily sheep. This place is, the closest place I've ever been to to this is New Zealand. This, there are a lot of characteristics about Iceland that are similar to the way New Zealand is, and they have lots of sheep. They have uh, uh, horses you're going to see. I'm going to show you some uh, Icelandic horses that are unique from any of the other horses in the world you see here. And uh, this this is a uh, uh, where the uh, European, the uh, American plate and the European plate are coming apart. Oh. And this is, you know, if, if you is know, that, is that the separation? This is the separation right here. And I have some other pictures of this where they actually, it comes apart and you can see down in some of these crevasses, you can see down, uh, you won't be able to see them in the pictures, but you can yeah. see, look down and they're really deep. Uh, but that's what causes the, uh, the volcanic activity and a lot of the earthquakes. Well, right, when, when there's some activity down there yeah, with the plates. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and so uh, that's why this place is so volcanic. Yes. Well, what was that colorful balloon looking thing in the previous picture? It's on the field in front of a uh, soccer net. Oh, that was just a soccer. I, I don't know what that was, to oh, be okay. honest with you. Uh, I, it may have been a tarp or something where the kids uh, can get out of the weather. Now, this is a typical, this is all glacier melt that's coming down, and this is one of them. There are lots of waterfalls you see here. This is, uh, now this is typical farmland. Now you see this was all volcanic, but you see how the grass grows and it looks really, it looks a lot like, like in New Zealand. Oh, that's where marshmallows come from, huh? No, no, these are, yeah, what this is, it turns out the cows and the horses here eat, they don't eat hay or wheat, they eat this grass. This is actually grass. Because wheat will not grow, for some reason it doesn't grow in, uh, oh, in Iceland. But what does grow is this grass, and as a matter of fact, people mow their yards, and they catch it in the, in the and then they sell it to the farmers. Because, because it's, uh, it's good feed for the, and, and this, one, this guy, he plants this so that in the winter time, he'll be able to feed his animals that he puts in the, uh, uh, A farm here. Oh, I'm sorry, no, these are apartments. That's another interesting thing. You'll see all the houses that, that the people live in, mostly, uh, probably 20% or less live in, in the private homes. Everybody else lives in these sort of condo. They have three story condos and six story condos, and they're all over the island. And this happens to be uh, something similar to that. It's, uh, but you'll also, I'll show you when uh, we see a copy of the condos. Is, is this the height of summer? Yes, this is uh, July when I was there. What these farms are all around the island, and they have to have towns every 20, 40 or 50 miles because they need schools and churches and uh, uh, some grocery stores and things like that, and they bust the kids. So this is a little town and these are and often the, uh, the background here, are, this is all farmland that some farmer has his sheep grazing up in there. Well, those look like individual houses. These are, yeah, most of the, uh, most of the little farm towns are this way. They're this type of thing. Whereas when you get into Redkovic, uh, I didn't point that out, but they have, I, I think I may have some pictures later, I'm not sure. 
that show uh, the, the three different kinds of uh, and, and most of them are owned. What you do is you buy your condo. Yeah. And some of them, though, are you know people rentals like here. And that's my grandson and his uh, wife. They were taking some pictures. This is, shows you how rough this. Uh, oh, rapid. Yeah, the rapid coming down, and it's not far to the. Uh, and you can see the, the the water is a kind of a. Uh, a cloudy, milky. Uh, milky. That's uh, that's glacier runoff. The closer to the glacier, the, the milkier it gets. But, uh, it's a pretty, really uh, interesting. Flora. Pretty flowers. Oh yeah. Well, this is a this is a place I think we're going to see here. I'm not sure if this is the place. Rocks. These are some uh, rocks that the people here. There's a family here has this little rock farm that they have where they have collected millions of rocks and they have all these flowers and rocks on display along with um, uh, stuffed uh, birds and animals that are native to Iceland and also and all of the flora and fauna. And so these are all in, in, uh, on view at this place. This is, uh, you'll see. Oh. Yeah, this is a very interesting bird here. This bird goes all the way from South Antarctica to uh, the Arctic, and uh, they will they come down and they'll bomb you if you get anywhere close to their nests. Oh, yeah. They actually come down and swoop, and, and you can if you walk anywhere around where their nests are, they'll start attacking you. And you'll see sometimes uh, some of the. Uh, um, Mammals will try and go after them, and these birds will come down and attack the mammals. We're going to go swimming. We're going to see us, not swimming, wading. Uh, yeah, in the hot spring here. You'll see us in the water. We're walking through the lava, and uh, we're going to walk in there. Here's, every, here's everybody. Uh, we're in there. I'm in there, too. And they have a little bar over here, and uh, we got a free drink. So you, get, you go over here and get your beer or wine or soda or whatever you want. Uh, you'll see there's... There's hundreds of people in this big uh, pool. Is it a hot springs natural? Yes, this is a natural oh. hot spring. And uh, yeah, you can see the people. And in the back there, they have a, uh, a power plant, a thermal power plant. All of the uh, all of the electricity. On, you see the steam coming up because they have these. They drill wells down and they circulate the uh, the water. And it gets the water comes up, it gets hot and comes up and runs the generators that generate the electric power for the country. And they have these stations all over the all over the islands, and uh, you'll see uh, electric cables, uh, electrical lines like we have, high voltage lines uh, coming out of these. But this again is relatively new uh, lava field here, and uh, so this is young lava. Let's see, we're back to flowers again. Beautiful flowers. With the colors as red as you're showing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, over here, these are some uh, sea lions. Sea lions. Yeah. The sea lions resting. Yeah, and they're beaching out there. And this is an interesting little monument they made. Yeah. That, uh, Out of rocks. Yep, and then there's some description here. That's all written in Icelandic. Oh, you can't language. read it. Now, again, you see how the how the form where the water where the lava goes in. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. It has that, and you'll see the architecture on some of the buildings that have uh, strange shapes like this. And there was a couple of folks out having a picnic out here. <laughs> But you can see our people, these, this is one of our people there, that she's got a, her hood up because it's a little cool. Here again, you can see the moss growing on the lava. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like, uh, probably, uh, this is like 30 or 40, at least 30 or 40 year old lava. It actually has wheels and we drove out into the water. And this is a block of ice that the girl Ooh. gave us. And that's Zach holding this block of ice. Wow. And, 
and uh, here's the kayakers. These people are actually kayaking out there around the boat. Oh gosh, it's gotta be cold. Yeah, you don't want to turn upside down in that kayak. <laughs> but these are all that we have. This is the, that's what the glacier looks like from far. Joe? Yes. I saw the mass. Oh, look at the people climbing up. How did they treat the COVID situation? COVID? Yeah. Uh, they went through the same thing we did uh, at one point. This, uh, this is a girl, the guide we had on the boat. With picture of her. Boy, what is she holding up? Whole faithful. Yeah. Oh, that was something. Yeah. All right. Yeah.